know what comes in the Borderlands 3 Diamond Loot Chest Collector's Edition and what other merchandise you'll be able to get your hands on in SA to celebrate the launch of the game, well we have you covered. We got our hands on the very rare and pretty cool Borderlands 3 Diamond Loot Chest Collector's Edition and a handful of merchandise currently available on the markets. This includes plushies, figurines and some cool Borderlands themed tubs. First off we have the chest. It comes in a giant box with a stylish sleeve over it. Sliding it off reveals a unique Children of the Vault artwork which makes the box look like its own unique collector's box too. The Children of the Vault, or COV for short, is the new cult in Borderlands 3 and it's led by the Calypso Twins. The cult also has its own range of weapons which come in the form of makeshift guns which don't reload but rather overheat and break after excessive use. Inside that box we have the grand prize, the diamond loot chest itself. This is a replica of the loot box found in the game and while it looks like it does stuff, it sadly does not. It opens and closes and I guess that's all you really need it to. The buttons and knobs are just there for show. The box does have some great details on it like its ports and speakers which is fitting for the game's replica. The boxes lock, unclip and it slides open in a pretty cool way. It got stuck at first but inside is crammed with goodies so it is expected. The box is full of all sort of things. We first took everything out and there is a lot to pull out of this box. First we have the awesome steel book holder which sort of looks like a holy book of sorts. Under that we have the box containing the vault keys in a keychain form. Under some tissue paper we found the 10 figurines followed by a box containing the Sanctuary 3 ship replica which had to be built. The box says it's a 1 to 200 scale model, but even that statement is followed by a question mark. Typical Borderlands humor. Lastly, right at the bottom, we have the cloth map, which we did not open to avoid spoilers. Apparently it contains some hidden information on the places we will go to and the things we will do there. Under that, there's a folder with some rather epic lithographs of the main characters in the game. The Diamond Loot Chest Collector's Edition also comes with the Borderlands 3 Super Deluxe Edition. So in theory, you get two steel books with this edition. One added into your box at your retailer in SA that has the game and your season pass as well as the gold weapon skin code and the one inside the fancy smancy holy book thing. I uh, don't know what else to call it. We opened up everything to get a closer look at it all and it definitely impressed us. The attention to detail is superb and even the 10 figurines, although they are not painted, are highly detailed. Everything also smelled so good with that newly painted and printed aroma. We live for unboxing like this and especially the smells. Maybe we're a little bit crazy for it even. The box's detail is spot on and even the knobs and dials look great. The storage space inside is also quite ample, so once you've taken everything out and put together the Sanctuary 3 ship, framed your lithographs and found a nice spot for all 10 mini figurines, the box will make a great place to hide all those things you don't want people seeing. Or maybe that's just a me thing. Of course, there's a lot more going on here than just the diamond loot chest as we got our hands on some of the merchandise you'll be able to pick up along with Borderlands 3. First, we have the Lilith 20cm figurine which is hand painted and shows off one of the most iconic characters in the series. Tiny Tina is not so tiny anymore and this 20cm figurine shows her off in all her madness. She's one of the most lovable yet craziest characters in the series and in Borderlands 3 she will amp that up to another level. Both figurines are available in SA at the Nexus Hub for 1,499 Rand. We then have the plushies which are adorable. One of them is Tina's rabbit and is a full size plushie with all the details from the same doll in game. It is around 36cm big. The smaller claptrap plushie can be clipped onto your bag or anything really. This one's about 12cm and has everything you love about claptrap on it except for the annoying voice which could be a good thing. There's also a psycho version around the same size. The larger bunny plushie sells for 549 Rand and the smaller ones go for 249. We also got the brand new Borderlands 3 Tubs range which comes in 4 characters, Tina, Moxie, Lilith and Psycho. These awesome ducks come in a plastic shell which is a lot better than say the Pops range. You can collect them and stack them up. Each of them comes with a unique style to represent the character. Tina's one for example has her crazy mask on and her entire outfit too. They also retail for 249 and can be bought at the Nexus. 
So there you have it, our crazy Borderlands 3 unboxing with all the coolest merchandise on the market right now. We will link all the products down in the description below so you can check them out and buy a few while you're at it. We want to thank the Nexus for providing the merchandise so we could show it off to you beautiful people. Let us know what your favorite part about this unboxing video is and thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed and until next time, farewell.